In this video, we'll look at the enhancements we've made to managing budget and contract changes. As a project manager, especially when working with large projects that have a lot of change orders, you'll likely need to move a lot of money around in your budget. Sometimes that might even mean moving money from an item that already has a negative budget amount. For example, in this equipment install for a power plant, I need an additional $20,000 to cover costs for my control valves, but I'm limited on where I can draw from. I've already moved budget money from my convective section cost item, making it a negative amount, but I know I can still draw more from it because I know I'll be getting additional funding later on, or I'll be able to cover it with some of my contingency dollars. But I don't want to be held up on making a change now. Previously, I wouldn't be able to move money from a negative item in HD and would receive an error message when attempting to approve the move. But with version 13, I can now make the change. To illustrate, I'll go to the Budget Contract Changes Register. Notice, by the way, that we now have a Create Date field that shows the date and time the change record was created, so you can see how long a change has been outstanding. Let's create a new change record from scratch. This will be a budget move, and I'll call it Move from Convective Section to Control Valves. On the Details tab, I bring up the cost item list and select the convective section and control panel cost items. And then I scroll over to my material cost change fields and draw down $20,000 from the convective section item and move it to the control panel item. I click approve and now in the CBS I can see the reallocation of money in my budget. My bottom line amount is still the same, but I can see the negative amount on the convective section that I'll need to make up.